Hello, Franz. We've got a little bit of sad news. Uh, I don't know if uh, Niker has already told you, but he will not be joining us tonight. Okay. Aw, okay. You might... Uh, I won't tell you exactly the reason why, but I think you might want to give him uh, some support. Yeah. I just don't want to, like, say what it is on stream, because I think it is inappropriate. Okay. Right! Everyone is here! Hello! Guys! Hello. It is... I know, I mean, we're kind of two days early. Yes, two days early. But we'll take it as the second year of running campaign one. Yay! Small caps, small caps. <laughs> Yay. I did bake us a cake. No way. Yeah, it's a small one because, you know, I'm going to be eating it alone. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. I has small cake. I'm uh, going to steal it. Oh, you, you live on the other end of Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> Big Sag. Uh, yeah. So, where is my candles? Hi. Don't mind like, the Hello. mess in the back. So... Let me just put that stuff here. Hey, let me just. Yeah, the thing kind of works. I totally forgot that we're getting <laughs> young camera. I'm gonna. No, change. no, I mean it's okay if you don't want to be on camera. I just, I just gotta change. So yeah, uh, give me a second. First, I'm gonna have to switch off the fan. <laughs> I'm here because. Oh no, my camera. Asked. Oh. I was gonna say someone nice. asked me to be here and I will be here before I go sleep. Hey. Yes. Yeah. So, this is the, the man baby. Man baby. <laughs> so yeah, I baited everyone a okay. cake. Wee. On behalf of everyone, hey. I'm so sorry. Hey. It is Happy birthday. Happy birthday, everyone. Two candles. Yeah. Two candles and one cake for one <laughs> unfortunately i mean i would give you guys cake all of you I but i forgot to buy cake today when Wee. i was like thinking am i missing out something today it's okay and then I, I looked at the I session made, i was like oh i made on our everyone's behalf dude is that the <laughs> is that the candles that you can't like blow out yep this is the kind you can blow out. It is the, oh, the sparkly okay, okay, kind. Okay. So it takes a while before it actually starts to like Does sparkle. Full sparkle? <laughs> yeah. It's that the uh, Amscan sparkly candles, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I don't know. Anyway, happy birthday to y'alls. Hey. hey, make hey. a wish and then blow to it, guys. Your old campaign. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. So make a wish and blow it out, all right? Like in five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my god. Uh, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at blowing candles, let's be honest. <laughs> but yes, uh, welcome all of you to today's session. Hi. And hi, I'm my son. I was only here for the candle blowing because someone asked me to be here, and I'm glad. E, I'm so glad that you actually managed to come. I mean, the others weren't weren't able to join us uh, for oh, personal yes. reasons, but at least I tried. You know, I tried to call them in. Yeah, and it's you guys it's, got me as a substitute. <laughs> you are the embodiment of everyone who was supposed to be here, but it's okay. Thank you again for taking time in your res uh, army days. Are you legally allowed to be here? Yes. Okay, so that's a good thing. I don't want you to get reprimanded out of the blue for appearing on stream. No, it's fine. Uh, I have to 
As long as I get to sleep at a given time. Oh, <laughs> like a kid. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. All right. Cool. I missed everyone here. Oh, <laughs> I, I missed you too, son. Tears. Keisha's George grew up. I know. I've heard. I've heard a lot of things. I also got my own one-on-one sessions. I've heard a lot of things. Yes. One-on-one sessions, indeed. Yeah. You're gonna have one this week again, so mm. I'm excited for that on a Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Yep. We'll see what happens then. Thank you again for coming by. It is nice to have you here. Wait. I... Hey, Dion! Hey! Hey! Oh. hey. 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 My camera. <laughs> yeah, let's see. It's, not, lo- it's not loading. I can't, even use my camera. I can't even use my camera. I yet. mean, you're in the army. It's okay. Mine shares a loading screen. Them. Okay. <laughs> Thank you again well, for coming by. I don't want to keep you there. Wait. <laughs> That's not even a thing. <laughs> just... my, my face is loading. Give it time. Wait. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, but what I was going to say was that. Uh... Um. I, I think I'll be back in, cause I'll finally know what happens to me after uh, uh like two to three weeks from now. So uh huh, I'll see. <laughs> Hopefully, I get to join back with you guys. But uh, I imagine I hope your so face too. is loading is like it's putting okay. on makeup. Well, we ne- we never we never know how well the f- dices of fate will roll. Yes, exactly. Uh, uh, I don't know if I return to you guys in two or three weeks, but yeah. Oh, return to us. We'll we'll, oh, no. we'll throw a lasso over you and uh, be like, <laughs> you have to be here. Whatever you want. <laughs> or not. <laughs> if not, I'll end up in the Sunday <laughs> campaign. Uh oh. <laughs> He'll just appear out of the blue, like, "Hi, it's me." Mario. <laughs> you know that portal over there? Yeah, uh. I walked through it. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, hurry up! <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh. To think that, uh, this, this was used by. Uh. Oh, wait, it's blinking, oh. it's blinking. Oh, no, it's, it's not. <laughs> And before I leave, like right now. Yeah, can you imagine you when you them. leave and then the thing works? Oh, oh, oh come on. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, uh. Is it? Is it gonna show? We don't know. So, while uh, this is happening... <laughs> Keisha, just close guys... your eyes and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, eh? I'm holding my phone and I'm looking at the ceiling right now. I like, I'm looking at the ceiling fan, but I was gonna say, oh yeah. Any of you guys encountered anything weird? Anything dangerous? Te- I have. Technically, we did, and then we were supposed to bring back the uh, hostage, but now we actually accidentally let him blow up and stuff, so, um, you know. Oh yeah. That was weird. <laughs> that was really funny, it's like... Four heads together, but we still forgot about that one person that we're supposed to bring back with us. <laughs> and ah. we're like, God damn it, we all put a quiches together. We we big brained. Sounds like sounds like you guys. It's like we have it all planned out. Like okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. Everybody's gonna get out. Oh, sounds wait. like oh Everybody come the guy. <laughs> sounds like you guys to make up for my disappearance in by literally. Amplifying the dumbness by 10 times. Any other people that you're supposed to meet up with? Um, meet you up. know you can use your phone, right, Q? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to show my real face. Oh, she wants okay. to show. Oh, you want to show the, the cat animated? Yeah. yeah the- yeah, there's no there's no uh face reveal for her today. She is no, cause a cat. my real identity is just 
cat. She. I'm sorry, I'm fluffy. Oh, I have feet pig. Mm, oh no. Uh. Questionable. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, it's not what you think. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get a picture of it. Wait, hang on. Mm. I I was gonna say on that note, I am gonna go. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Wait, wait, wait. Let me explain myself. So when I was streaming and doing art, my friend decided to donate to my coffee. Mhm. You're not you're not helping your case, but go on. <laughs> I'm not helping your case. Uh, I was so, paid to do this. Leave me alone. So you had a simp, okay? So uh, you don't so, have so, to. This you is don't have to do it on street. God, le- I just want to go. To- Look at it. I just want to go to. Look at the text chat. Oh, okay, okay. Is that as bad as I thought? Okay, alright. <laughs> okay, okay. It's actually what did you expect? false alarm. False alarm. <laughs> what did you expect? Uh. Okay. <laughs> you mean eh? Okay, but I was gonna ask. Nothing else you guys encountered? Ah, uh, I. We're talking about weird stuff. What else did you guys encounter? That's a good question. The only thing I Not know sure. from the only thing I knew from DM was the dragon. That's it. Ah, All right. The dragon. Then. Dragon. Was there a dragon? That you failed to save. Yeah. Uh, technically, they... It... Mm, I will not say... Zipping. Isn't isn't there like okay. a lot of stuff that we can't tell him? <laughs> if you wanna tell him, it's fine. You'll I mean, eventually I mean, know. Technically, he can watch the past stream. I um, I have been doing exams and matching, so... <laughs> I see, I see. I, I'm trying to fish mm. for something over here. There is a really big explosion, so you'll definitely feel it. Feel it, yeah, for sure. Who was the one that caused it? Was it you, Tactical? Was it you? All of us. I was gonna say, was it Tactical and uh, Nyko? Yeah. That's very close. It's a Tactical oh, no. explosion. Yes, <laughs> tactical explosion indeed. Oh my god, yeah, no, I cannot on my cam. My... Cause I know that Q and Dion are the most responsible out of all four of you. Uh, um, um, ex- excuse me, Midas is very head empty. Is that okay, a so you did it too? very questionable. No, yeah, it was also a compliment. It was also a compliment. Yeah, <laughs> very questionable choice of who is responsible. Hmm. In this okay. party. Oh no, there's, a, there's an explosion. Is that it? Nothing else? You won't know until later. Okay. okay. That's all I can say. Yeah. Of that to look forward to. Okay. Oh, so wait, any do you, rocks... Do you want him to know? Uh, no. You don't want to know. But you want to know. Should we tell him? Um, um, I, about what? The... I'm not sure what, but... About something else. finding. Don't tell me then. If it's treasure, don't tell me. An amulet there. Oh. Okay, don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. Is that, is that a big thing? Wait. Hmm. It's a pretty big wait, thing wait, wait. because it's actually sort of like uh, changing the story of how things are going to be for the Frost Long Please. in the future. Okay, you know? okay. Yeah. It depends. Why encounter the Maybe. amulet itself? No. Because the amulet is with us. Oh, but I'm not okay. sure if that impacts like Keisha's side of the story that much. Since depends the on, it depends like on nothing. how long he spends in Frost Long because uh, he is a day after you guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's uh, how far along he is at the moment. Mm-hmm. Don't yeah. I mean, that he will pretty much know at that point. Like, it would have happened. He, he would know about the explosion, but I don't think he would know about the amulet unless he asked uh, Lightbringer. I mean, the, the thing would already have happened, right? Yeah, the thing would already have happened, or is in the process of happening. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Then I I'm think we can it. tell him. I don't. I'm not sure. <laughs> the question is: Do does Keisha's want to know? Keisha, you do you want to hear spoilers from like disembodied you know voices? You know what? You know what? Since we're <laughs> since I'm about to go to sleep, I now have my lucky coin with me. I might as well. Okay. Wait, he uh? wants to do the honors. <laughs> no, 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 I'm flipping a coin. Uh, you pick a side. Q. Mm-hmm. Tail. Okay. Wasn't it heads that has a higher probability of being chosen? Not really, though. I feel like it's 50 50. Tails for what? For me to spill the beans. Looks like you're spilling the beans. Oh. It landed okay. on tails. Yeah, I <laughs> caught it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically we picked up this amulet uh, after we apprehended the mage. Then, um, without because we didn't really have enough like um, arcana to check the thing properly, so we just like <laughs> thought it was just a regular <laughs> amulet, you know. Well, and it, then we brought you, it you, back. You knew it was an amulet that could conjure conjure emerald, uh, emerald iron golems. Golems, mm-hmm. yes, yes, yes. But what we didn't realize was that on the other side of the amulet, there was a tracking rune. And we brought it all the way back to Frostlong. Hmm. Now so, they know where it is. Wait. Yeah. So in our defense, we wait, did wait, wait. do an Hold arcana up. check on <laughs> it. We Hold did, up. but we just weren't arcana enough. Wait, wait. Pause. Pause. <laughs> Who was the previous owner of the amulet? Uh, it was a mage. <laughs> yeah, she... The hostage that we blew up. You. <laughs> you know somehow, somehow, I still know. It and took I them fifteen the minutes time. to decide what they want to do with him, and after all the trouble of thinking and actually we tied him, we tied restraining him, up so him nicely. and planning on where to put him in the meantime. Exactly. <laughs> and- <laughs> They after ign- <laughs> after igniting the the explosives, they all just made a r- mad dash out I of there. Don't do this! Don't do that! You are responsible too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what happened to the guy? <laughs> what? what? And they completely <laughs> forgot. Uh, and then my nose was just like, yeah, I'm gonna pinch the bridge off my nose for the hundredth time. Because I was thinking if I should tell them that the guy was still there. But, you know, you didn't. I, I didn't. Of course I didn't. Because I was mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. Out you of guys. Like, habit, you, it, it, it reminded you of Keisha. <laughs> no, it, it wasn't because of that. Because I was thinking, like, okay, you guys did so much planning, spent like almost 30 minutes in. Coming up with ah, an idea. Oh, there we go. Hi. There we go. Okay. See. All right. Okay. We'll, I'll just rush this up for you. They trying to make a plan for them to like come back to him in a later time to question him, but it never happened because they left him there and they just ran off, and he died being squashed. There's no way anyone could survive that. You had more faith in them. <laughs> <laughs> and okay to be fair I only kind of realized that when all was said and done and I was like hold on a sec they didn't pick him up yeah we are just there, like we ran for it and then we are like wait where's the hostage <laughs> dead <laughs> four question marks and then we are just there, like Oh shit! No crap. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. Funny and <laughs> rather tragic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my god. But yep, yeah, that's that's one of the highlights of that encounter. Not. <laughs> I want to say <laughs> I would have done better in your case but I don't think I'm too sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean you did create giant uh, glow worms fall from the ceiling and that's my cue to leave now. Bye. <laughs> giant glow worm? Bye. From the scene Keisha has come back here bye. and seen yourself. Bye. I'll go sleep. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye.
Bye. So, Is he, uh, what was it about the glowing worms? I'm curious. He thought it was a good idea while Lightfinder was on a little kind of uh, sleuthing mission trying to, to find out if the shadow elves that were within their vicinity good or not and Keisha was like fuck it I'm just gonna make these glow worms ginormous and he did he made three of them ginormous and all of them just fell from the the ceiling of this uh, chamber and went Poosh! it definitely injured um, light finder in in the process because I rolled shit for her deck save <laughs> oh shit oh that's why she was injured when she came to us and then no 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 that's not yet the full story there is something oh, that God. happened after that that uh, incurred to her injury. Oh my god. <laughs> but yes, uh, if you guys are ready, I hope you have your character sheets, your uh, dice sets, dice sets if you all need some. Uh, D&D Beyond is working again. I had some good rolls. Uh, so if you want to use D&D Beyond, it's okay. Doki. I'm gonna, use, I'm, I'm gonna do a test roll. You know, one test roll doesn't really help the whole situation, but I, okay. I, I know, I know, you know, might, it, might, might as well. <laughs> Alright. This is gonna feels better. Well, that was not good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, you rolled three points lower than I did. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Wow, you guys. Uh, you were in for a right to do. Well, I mean, I we'll see. We'll see exactly what happens. You know what? I'll also give a roll on DND just for for shits and giggle. I mean, we used up all the lower numbers, so maybe later we might have higher numbers. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to say, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Nice glasses, by the way. Exactly. Yeah, oh my I gotta God, give you... myself. I gotta give myself glasses. Somehow. Oh, I love it. It doesn't fit. Like everyone it else should, have it. It should. It should also <laughs> move when you when you speak. That would be so cute. I know. Right? I should probably draw in some accessories for my avatar someday. Yeah. I'm actually reworking my avatar. I am too lazy to make that, <laughs> as I'm, I have I'm, find, I'm, I'm, found I'm out recently. Yeah, I'm like reworking mine. So it's like, uh huh. Your viewers are hearing it here first. <laughs> I haven't actually told my viewers about it. <laughs> you heard it right here first. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Mm -mm. Okay. Well. Okay. If we are all ready, uh, we shall begin. You guys have recently just met up with Scar, delivered George the Slime to him. <laughs> You have also received your your ma your once magical weapons. You can still give it to him to fix it or make it magical again, but at a cost. That's what I can say for now. And you guys, it's getting late. You make your way out of Scars, down one of the busy roads of the central the city center not too far from where you guys are I am receiving a message do I want to look at it? no <clears throat> you guys start to hear a relatively loud sound more like a melody to most of you it might just be another bard making music. But to Isa, it is not. It is a rather specific song that only someone he knew would know how to play. You guys got closer to song, rest, and delicacies 
in a tavern. And upon entering this tavern, Isa, you catch the gaze of the performer sitting on stage who kind of stopped playing her song. I continue the song. You bring out your lyre, play your instrument. For a moment, maybe a second or two, caught off guard before shaking it off, and she continues the melody that you play. The crowd inside of this tavern begins to cheer. Some of them begin to dance around merrily. In comparison to the different to the other taverns you've seen before, this looks to be more lively, more happy. In the middle of the song, I like to cast Minor Illusion to... What kind of song is it, may I ask? Like, is it like a medley kind of thing? It is a medley. So I was like, Minor Illusion of like, spring, grass growing, oh. flower blooming kind of... Make a performance check. Uh oh. <laughs> With advantage, I would say. Because I think the people are like a tad bit drunk and distracted, question mark. We'll see. Uh, 20, 20, 22 with the advantage. That is more than enough. The people inside begin to like, ooh, ah, in wonder and in excitement because they have not experienced something like this in a long time the band playing behind the performer begins to do their solos add on to the music that you've made with this person exclusively after a good bit what in the meantime while you're playing uh what would the other stoop Midas is a little bit unsure if he should step in <laughs> watching uh isa play on his lyre he looks at velos right. is isa outside or inside he stepped there, in where he, there oh, you okay. guys are currently at a door and isa opens it and he is already inside you guys um, are still at the door. Wait. Dallas will be a bit surprised, but step in and find a place to sit down. Midas, Midas, will, Midas will just follow Velas <laughs> quietly. A host would eventually find the two of you and lead you to an empty booth in this crowd of drunkards and people just wanting to have fun it is ra relatively close to the bar anything i can get for you as she tries to like talk whisper scream at you trying not to disturb the performance going on on this at the center of this tavern um Give me a strongest. I'll just have some cold beer. Cold beer, definitely. Um, are you sure about the strongest? I've had worse. 
remember the last time that happened. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, and then Ravens had to do a constitution check. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Midas was just drinking it like it was like nobody's business. Jesus Christ, Midas, what is wrong with you? Oh no, wait, I made him. The host raises an eyebrow, but still graciously smiled back. Yes, of course, I will get you what you want. A cold beer and the strongest drink we have in this tavern. She would make her way into to the bar side. And you see her whispering to this uh, human around maybe middle-aged. You see him. He looks over to the table and goes like, What? For real? Yeah, for real. Okay. And you start to see him just pouring stuff together, shaking it inside of his uh, shaker, scratching his head at the same time, occasionally wondering, Okay, well, this is gonna be fucked. I hope they're ready to pay. In the meantime, Isa, the music begins to die. And Rue is still sitting on her seat on stage. Watching you as she then begins to speak out loud. And you realize that she's using Tomaturgy to, to increase her voice. Ladies and gentlemen, Issa Kess! And the crowd behind get goes screaming, clapping, giving you like pats on the shoulder. Like, great fucking job, man. That was amazing. Class act right there. Some of them are just way too drunk. Like, yeah, so, so good. Fun day. That was claps. <laughs> To Isa, he's he's hearing and seeing pretty much none of this. He, the world is just, you know, blurry and passing through him, while his attention is just only on Rue. Like the he, if people are clapping and patting him in the back, he, he's just completely ignoring them. He's just waiting for Rue to react. To, to see what she would do. You then see her, despite like you, you being crowded by people, you see her turn to her bandmates, kind of telling them something. You're not too sure what exactly it is. And as she got off of the, of her stool on the stage, you notice she walks in a, peculiar way not that you know of before she's kind of limping as her skirts just kind of like flow over her legs you won't be able to see what's what exactly is causing it she makes uh, her way towards you he would rush to the stage, because I'm, I'm assuming it should have to step down off the stage. Mm -hmm. So he would rush to, you know, take her hand and help her down the stage. As you do that, she accepts your help as the band behind her begins to play a more mellow tune. I'm so sorry that you had to see this performance. I, I give her a hug and then whisper, Where have you been? Why? What's, why are you sorry? She takes a moment. before her arms just reach out to your back just pulling you closer giving you the same hug 
I it's a long story and frankly uh, with all the noise happening at the back this wouldn't be the right time or place to talk about it uh, but it's nice to see you again it truly is. You have... You have no idea. Uh, when, when's a good time? Uh, do, you, do you get off soon, or...? As you say that, you have... You notice someone approaching the two of you. And this short, I would say maybe around eight years old, kid walk up to her. <laughs> Asking, Mom, kinda ran out of juice. Can I ask? Mr. 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 Skill <laughs> for more. <laughs> oh no, he disappeared. Shh. <laughs> 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 oh no. Go <laughs> mask. He's gonna take a minute. <laughs> you said nine years old? Yes. I think it was yeah, nine. Nine nine. Okay, please continue. <laughs> <laughs> she then turns to the child. Just tell Mr. that it's on me. I'll pay for it. Okay. And then this kid just looks at you. Hi, bye. Is it just says hi and goodbye, walks away, not wanting to deal with you. Ah, uh, that is my kid. Hesitatingly, she says it. Ease's heart rate from being <laughs> excited to see her and you know as as much excited to see a person as a dog seeing her their owner for like the longest time. <laughs> uh -huh. His heart just stops and he feels a shiver and you know like the heart just fell down to his feet you know like the sinking feeling oh you you have a kid so much has happened uh, it's a little complicated i would say um how about we uh Talk outside. Sure. Let's. Let's. Yeah. Let's go. You see her, she takes the lead. And the way she walks, it's evident that something probably has happened to her, I would say, with your uh, insight. As her limping kind of makes her look like she's trying to walk with one leg longer the, than the other in the meantime Velis and Midas you see Isa being led out of this tavern by the performer you have seen earlier on 
and the host comes back with an icy mug of ale seeing as to how relatively large of human being he is she gave him this bigger mug in comparison to the others where you see dwarves and smaller cups for Midas you have this very unique looking glass it's kind of shaped like an hourglass and at the bottom you see this uh it kind of looks layered like as if oil on water where you see three layers one below it is this milky white concoction at the center this bluish hue that kind of has like little ripples in the middle like you just see it like rippling throughout this layer and at the top this clear to reddish liquid that you see like it kind of like this smoking upwards but never really mixing with the clear liquid on the top here's your drink uh that would be one copper from you and yours would be one gold as you see her just bite the side of her cheek as she mentions the price to you I was take a look at Midas and hands her the copper. Midas, Midas hands her the gold. One gold, holy shit! God knows what they put in there. <laughs> she then turns to Velis and asks, "Do you think your friend might need something to, you know, pull down the drink?" She has this very worried face, like as if shit is gonna happen, and I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Do I do I do I get to roll with advantage because I survived the uh, dragon breath or do you? This is a different concoction. Oh shit! You don't well, know how just... potent this is. Ah, my just like his prayers. Amen. Right, he's like, um, well, well, uh, we'll see what happens first. Midas shrugs. Okay, um, and then from her back, she just puts out this bucket, this small little bucket in front of you guys. Um, Midas, just uh... in case <laughs> you do something that everyone else is expecting you to do, there is a bucket here. Okay. Thank you. Do not on the ground. Uh huh. Because <laughs> there's Midas, no Midas way nods. I want to clean that. As he picks up the glass and is he supposed to mix it? You can drink it from the top down. He chugs it. <laughs> chugs it. Curious, mate. <laughs> he's he's curious. Okay, he's curious. Let me. Let saw that he holds out his spear. I'm gonna need oh, to well. recalculate the you dice. Win. The dice <laughs> count for that. Give me a moment. Uh... He chugs it and then he just like uh, holds the puts the bucket on his lap just in case. I would say the dice count for this is very high. Uh huh. I don't know if you. Even I don't with your think maximum, I can. you'll be able to, but the only way you can get through this is with a nat 20. Oh, fuck my ass. Here it comes. <laughs> oh. Midas gonna get a really bad concoct. <laughs> Hangover. That's a little high, no? Uh, <laughs> he drank it the entire thing. Why? why are you chuck it, bro? There was a reason I why I know. separated into okay, three okay, layers. Okay, this. <laughs> Listen, Midas, Midas drank the dragon breath in like one chug, so you know, maybe he assumed it to be the same. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> you know, 
Okay. Listen, I told you many times, Minus is very head empty. Make a constitution. Grievous <laughs> just walked with all that. Ah, uh, he wrote a 14. Oh, the poor man. What is your maximum for uh, plus 7, right? So 27. This dice, the dice, the, the saving, the, the dice count was 26. <laughs> okay, so 26. With that 14, you just chugged it down like as if it was nothing. And you start to realize from drinking it initially the first part was smooth almost tasteless and then as you begin drinking the reddish parts or at least the tendrils of this reddish liquid that follows you begin to have a hint of cherry and your the back of your throat begins to burn as you push it down and when you get to the deeper red portion of this drink it's this fiery spicy cinnamony concoction that just almost feels herbish as you push it down your chest begins to get really warm your cheeks start to flush and your brown your brown of skin pe brown of skin people rarely have that you know bright blush but you do oh boy you move on to the second layer where you chug down the initial uh part of it it is in complete opposite of what you just drank this is cool to touch. You're from spicy, you get this cold uh, feeling spread across your mouth, like as if you're you're drinking mouthwash. But it has this nice fruity floral flavor that you get from blueberries and uh, dark black currants, and you, you wash it down without much problem but you begin to feel your head uh sway from side to side the effects of this drink is near immediate and finally you reach the bottom where you have this milky liquid concoction you take it in it has this thick viscous texture to it Almost as if trying to stop you from drinking it all. It has. He, he drank it. <laughs> yes, it has this very creamy flavor to it, almost like as if it's like a uh, cream and milk. But at the same time, it has like notes of, uh, just a little bit of mint and some citrus flavors as you finish it. You were not able to put the glass back down on the table. Instead, you think you put it on the table, but no, instead no, no. <laughs> you just dropped it on the floor. And this Dallas hourglass, uh, this hourglass glass broke into halves. Can Velas try to catch it? Roll for dexterity. Just dex. Yep, just a just X. Yep. Okay. And I got an 11. I say you will be able to catch that. So you managed to. Yeah, because uh, Venus was just like constantly staring at poor Minus. <laughs> you managed to like get it and then. Uh, okay. Back on the table. You put it slowly on the table. And you see Midas just kind of sway around. Everything around you cannot be discerned, Midas. You just see everything kind of waving around, mixing your imagery of everything. You look at Velas, you don't see Velas. You see the swirl of colors and... 
kind of looks alien. Like, but you're not sure. Your your brain is like trying to. Your body's trying to hold you up, but you just feel like you're going down, and you couldn't stop swaying. Make. Can I put a bucket in front of his face? Midas has it on his left right case. now. <laughs> I'll just hold his head so that it faces the bucket. And. Midas, Midas, Midas just like mumbles like, "Oh, this doesn't taste like dragon bread." <laughs> You know the bucket is there. But... As you start to feel your insides just screaming to let it go... I want to see what happens. Roll another con save. Oh shit. 20, uh, mod at 23. Mod at 23. You feel the drink coming back up your throat and you just feel it at the edge of your orifices. <laughs> but you manage to like hold it there like, no, 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 I can do it. You hold it in. The bucket falls, though, despite your efforts as you put most of your concentration in stopping yourself from releasing the Kraken inside. Of you. Unless comes in for the save for the bucket. <laughs> I would say you will be able to catch the bucket too with that, okay. with that roll. Like you're just watching him like I'm not gonna deal with any bad shit today. As everyone else in the 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 room you begin to notice are watching in awe as might as you then Slowly, your head falls closer and closer to the table, and he is asleep. Hey, at least you didn't die! That is true, at least you didn't die. He survived! Just I... a little, maybe a really bad hangover tomorrow. Ravis. That was who... size of relief. Ravis, who's been watching intently, uh. Oh no, Wait, Ravis, please don't drink. Please don't to, drink. Uh, Velis telling you that he will take uh, Midas up to the room. Let me see if you can even carry him. Oh, I got the twink. Oh shit, he rolled 9. 20. Okay, yep. That's nice. a 20. Okay, he Four ones. I think he has seen you drunk several times. More, more so that he kind of knows how to deal with you when you are down. So he manages to angle you correctly, or have your arm around his shoulder, carry you slowly up. You see the host talking to him. For Midas, you just hear this as you try to discern what they're talking, but you can't. Everything just looks like swirly vapor wave. Vapor waves, just like. I, what the fuck? Ravis then carries you up to the to one of the rooms, settles you down in, settles you down in one of the beds, and stays with you watching. For Velas, you, I would say, continue drinking your drink, and we will move. Velas pinches the bridge of his nose. <laughs> <laughs> it is being carried on. In the meantime, outside, uh, outside of the tavern, you see a group of people standing outside. They appear to be uh, staff, as you see Rue just wave her hand in the air, and you see most of them make their way back in to the tavern grounds outside you see a couple of barrels uh, sitting upright she takes a seat hopping up to uh, one of the barrels and she gestures to you Isa to the other barrel which is just a little way away from her take a seat welcome to my office Oh. 
it's just outside the <laughs> the tavern. Okay, so I I take a seat and say, your your office? You you work here? Yes, I work here. It's I've been here for about three years. Prior to this, uh, you may not believe it, but uh, I was somewhere in a very unique looking place, I would say. It's, um, uh, it's deep in the mountains. You probably wouldn't believe it. Uh, it's, it's a really beautiful, isolated city. There are kobolds in it who are like friendly. They're nothing like what uh, the other you mean, adventurers have told. You mean fur? What's the place called? Furlong? Furlong. Frostlong. Frostlong. You mean Frostlong? She looks at you. Her eyes just cross. Uh, her eyebrows crossing. How do you know? Oh, that's there. In the mountain. Oh shit. God. <laughs> Should I be telling her that? I feel like I feel nah, like I feel, I, feel like, I feel like when he says that right and then he and then he just said like oh shit and he covered his mouth. <laughs> well, I mean you are talking about the same thing that I am talking about, so I think it's fine. Yes, I've been at Frostlong for a good bit. That's where I met my son. He's not mine. I'm so confused. Your son is... how? He was an orphan in Frostlong. And... I met him while I was trying to find my father. All evidence points to Frostlung, so I didn't know this city existed. I just knew that my father was seen making his way in to the mines, and to the caverns. So you're still looking for Hernando. That's... That's still your mission, huh? Ever since that... Ever since you left me. I would say your mission is unsuccessful. I, I did find him. Oh, you did? Yeah. Uh, it was brief. It happened quickly. I tried to ha tell him to come home. I tried to tell him that mom is already passed on. But I should have I should have known better, you know? He He was too far gone. As you see her try to reluctantly put on a smile. More importantly. I I tried to help him uh find reason but I wasn't able to uh, get him to see the bigger picture or rather the truth and in doing so he lost his life and I lost my limbs. As she 
kind of swings her leg up and you see this kind of uh, wooden stump in place of her left leg as the skirt begins to it's just fold to the side revealing that wooden stump There was he no says, way I could, like, get back just... home. Not like this, anyway. But, uh... The kobolds took me in. And... Took care of me for a good while. And... While I was living with them, uh... In a... In an... An unfortunate caravan got lost in the mountain range, and uh, the only survivor was a child. Back then, Rio was just five years old, I think. He didn't really have anyone to turn to, and uh, Frostlong has already has its hands full with everything that's going on in and around the city. So I took the young boy in, and I insisted he just call me aunt, but. Uh, he calls me mom now. I'm sorry, I, I, I cut you off earlier. Uh, you were trying to say something? I was just going to say... More importantly, how are you feeling? Are you happy here? Why didn't you come home? I did try to come home. She then lowers her head. You know, I looked far and wide just trying to find you. I I I, I even helped out the syndicate. I I joined an adventure venturing group who took me far across the continent and my only goal was to look for you. And I finally found you today. You have no idea how happy I am. You can tell me about your father and what nasty things he done and I wouldn't care. All I care is how are you? She looks up to you for a moment. You can tell that she's trying to say something but is holding back. For a moment there is silence as people walk past you guys, caravans making their way across the road. I did return home once, found out that you have left the town. I thought you might have moved on. So I never went back. And instead, I found my way to Norlock and to pay for being a performer here at this inn and tavern is rather good. Could cover for me and Rio. I 
have thought yes. about where you've been, or getting to send you a message. But I just think that would be a little imp inappropriate with how I left things with you. It doesn't... It doesn't matter how you left things. You know... I... I never told you my feelings for you, right? I... You know, we, we've been together for so long. And every... Every night... And every day... I dreamt of you. When you left, when I look at the sky before I go to sleep, I work little by little on this uh, wood sculpture to remind me of you. And he, he takes out like a, a little bunny that he carved out of a piece of wood like you know like this big with like bunny ears and it's pink you know it's definitely not as good as your wood carving and your ingenuity but gotta start somewhere and uh, this reminded me of you well you always do my favorite animal was a rabbit as she reaches out and takes the little sculpture you made, examining it with her hands. You get a good close look at her hands also, as you see veins of what appears to be scar around it. Scars that you are pretty sure is not made by wood carving or any of that sort. More of like an injury. Occasionally you see her hand sporadically just begins to shake but then stop for a moment as she continues to examine this sculpture. It's rather i mean i would say it's really good you know for the work you've put in i mean who am i to judge you've barely gotten into the hobby but yeah you is... know i i tried to make it transform into you know another kind of weapon just like uh just like the liar you made for me here the and, liar um... is special and he he uh, extends his hand and um, flipped over the bunny ear, revealing like a, a, a little bit of like a like a pointy end for like throwing, but like you know it's a projectile. You know it's something uh, I just kind of came up with. You know what? That's actually a really good idea. I wouldn't have thought that there would be something hidden in this, honestly. Nothing looks... compared to the to the transforming crossbow liar that you made me, but uh, it's the start. Speaking of which... The liar looks a little different. Oh, yeah. Something happened to it. Uh, it's... Feels a little dull, somehow. This, the... The vibrancy of it seems to have gone. Give me a look at it. As she asks for your liar. He hands it to. I guess uh, he would still be carrying it. So he gives it to her. 
at the same time, he's he's looking at her hand as she takes it, but not say anything. Are you looking for something? Uh, just not yet. Okay. She takes the liar from you. What the fuck? What happened here? I, I don't know. I mean, what what can you tell? Well, I casted a pretty strong spell on this. I mean, I put a lot of enchantments into it, and it's as she turns it around, it's all fucking gone. Do you know how long it took me to make this? She... Yeah, I know. The enchantments were pretty cool. We used to go back and shoot some apples and then, you know, end up blowing up the tree, but... But I don't know, it doesn't have- it doesn't work anymore. She hisses for a moment, opens up a hatch at the stock, which you've never seen before. She's just going... <laughs> That's odd. She takes out this vial from the... From the stock. The, the liquid's black. As you see this black liquid inside of this uh, glass cylinder. The liquid? What liquid? I, what is this thing? Well, I mean, I had to do a lot of... How do you think this this bow was able to hit things so well? I don't know. You never taught me anything. All I could do is just watch you. You want to tell me what that is? Technically, it's holy water, but okay. It's holy water. Oh, okay. And it's black because... And this is an airtight cylinder. I made sure of it. It. it... How? What, how do what I... could have turned holy water black? Do Do you know? It has to be corrupted by something. What else? If, I mean, I assume that you might have other items with you that are. Magical of origin. Yeah, um... All my friend's stuff all lost their magical properties, but... I don't think they had holy water, though. Maybe it's... I don't know. Have you met a demon or something? Um... Out of character? The... Oh, Ebron or whatever? I don't think... No, it had, it happened after Eberron. Specifically when we met uh, the lady that was talking... The suspicious lady that was talking to Midas. Oh my god, her... Zasharov, was it? Yes. It, it all happened after we met Zasharov. Okay. A being of natural magic. As Midas explained to the party, if I remember correctly. He, he explains it at the, at the second floor. He's <laughs> 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 a big so magic. Um, <laughs> my, uh, so Celine, Celine is talking to him just that he doesn't understand Celine. <laughs> you just hear this cat. This brown, brown, cat brown. just go... Uh, yeah. Yeah. So like, uh, yeah, so basically what happened after we encountered Zasharov is that all our magical weapons and stuff started to go crackle okay. up and stuff, yeah. I hope that refreshes your memory. Not really, but I will relay that information <laughs> over. <laughs> Remember the time when Grom goes? That, that's when. Yeah, that's when. Oh, 
oh, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Fucking grub stealer. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> She's bitcher of. <laughs> Bruh. She stole Midas' muscle buddy number one. <laughs> this workout buddy. You mean... Uh, there was... Okay, this is a little weird. Okay, well, it's not that weird... There was a war prior to today. That was all weird, and cultists were everywhere. I don't want to believe you, but I have to because of all the crazy things that have happened. He said, rolls his eyes like, oh, you have no idea. <laughs> you see her, she takes this, uh, this vial and throws it against the the building on the other side and as the glass just breaks psh, somehow the liquid begins to smoke for a moment you see there is like shock in her eyes as she grips onto the edge of the barrel waits for a little bit as you see this smoke just billow out from the impact zone before fizzle fizzling out and leaving an ashen wall on that building just a small little maybe around 30 cm big in diameter kind of uh Blackish, charred. It looks charred, but there was no fire. Um, that was not supposed to happen. I don't have answers right now. I really don't. But yes, uh, pretend you didn't see that. He How says are goes you? <gasps> And I've been carrying that in my backpack? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have it with you. Uh, oh my gosh. It is gonna take a while for me to get some holy water. Holy water is rather expensive. 25 silver, can you imagine? For holy water? Then again, it has its properties. 25 silver. He says it's looking around. Take his huge bag of <laughs> platinum. Put it on, on like, the table. On the on the was it a, a barrel and look through it and like are take you, a platinum. Are you showing this to her? Like on purpose? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. It, 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 like nope, that's yeah, not that's, that's that's not a gold. And he take he takes a platinum out. That's not a gold. Wait, where's where's the gold? Oh, here's the gold. And, and, and he he and he has okay. And then he put the platinum back in the bag and then put it away. <laughs> Here. Four. What am I gonna do with this gold? Oh, can you fly in holy water me to, for me? You want me to fix your bow? Please, pretty please. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> and smack a kiss on it. <laughs> the bar is very low. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> the bar is so low. Oh my god. It's 15. With that, it's a 3 plus a modded 12. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> At least it's not a natural one because that's an auto fail. Oh, thank god for my plus 12. <laughs> Well, she rolled a six, a natural six. <laughs> so she was so shocked by the sight of the massive bag of platinum. <laughs> yeah, she is just like, 
I won't question how you got why on earth you're carrying a huge amount of money on your back. But that is very dangerous. You do know you can get robbed anytime, right? Oh, that's that's fine. I have like you know Celine is like staring at him like in disbelief. That big guy that came in the door. Yeah, he's 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 my bodyguard. He's he's a good guy. He got it. He won't she, get robbed. She doesn't Midas Midas yeah. sneezes in his sleep. <laughs> 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 you just hear this loud sneeze at the top <laughs> of the second floor. Um, That's fine. We, ha we already have a loot goblin in the team. There's, <laughs> we don't have to worry about. No, no, no. We have two loot goblins in the team. You don't understand. <laughs> oh, okay. God. I won't question it. I really won't. Celine shakes her head. But actually, come I just on, a uh, gold. You I know just... how much it took me to, to to make this, right? And you were saying? Actually, I just checked my inventory. I don't have any gold. I only have <laughs> platinum. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, so, well I don't know if, you, if one platinum. Okay, so I don't know how you want to do that. If you want to, like, just say I have... 10 gold and I just picked out the gold and I'll just minus one platinum or whatever. Yeah, so you technically have 9 gold right now and yeah, okay. whatever platinum you have. Okay. With that, you just hand her that one gold. She then squints her eyes. You know this costs a lot more than one gold, right? But with your incredible Persuasion roll. She kind of waves it off. He, 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 as he, um, hands her the gold piece and she takes it, he grabs her hand and kisses it. <laughs> <laughs> and as he does that, he wants to, um, you know, like, Turns the hand over and like look at it closer. Mm hmm. And maybe what kind of injury is it? Like, like is it a burn injury, magical injury? Or... Make a medicine check. I don't know if you're good at medicine check, but. Oh, no. Uh, 10 plus 5, so 15. Ooh, that's actually that's 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 great. not bad. That's very good, actually. You take a look at her hand. You can feel it trembling. And holding. Oh my god! Sporadically, it you feel it tremble, and then it stops for a bit, and then tremble again. But the duration of the trembles are very random. He, you can tell that this has this is probably because uh her arm has been broken to a point where some of the nerve endings were affected Yikes. giving her sporadic uh trem tremors on this particular arm Yeah, the, the the legs weren't the only ones that experienced a grave injury. She struggles to find the right words to say. This is your father's doing? I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's my father's doing. I went out to look for him after all. I thought I could help him. And I didn't. 
we made so much noise in that cave. And when the ceiling began to detach. Uh, parts of my body was crushed under rubble. Unfortunately, this... I can say the same for my dad, but... Uh... It's a grisly sight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't want me to get into the details of that. As you can tell that she is trying to avoid telling you the details. You can tell that she's trying to hold back tears. And you can feel her hand shaking. Not just uncontrollably but this time it is a constant shaking as she pulls away from you bringing her hands to claps on each other squeezing it mm -hmm. I should have been dead to be honest no one could survive that. But I did. And... I guess you can call this karma. You can't always have the things that you want. Even if you really want it badly so much so that it breaks your heart but this is what you get for wanting wanting to have a family even though mom wasn't he isn't here anymore, but I just hoped that, or wished that my father could be there instead. But really, who am I kidding? I should have known. I'm sorry. I I'm Turning this into a whole about me kind of situation where really I just want to know about you and how you've been. But you know, you always have me, right? Anytime. I'm, I'm always there for you. You see her start to lean towards you slowly as if her eyes meeting yours herself getting a little closer what do you feel this moment um everything is moving in slow motion obviously your your tunnel vision 
Everything's blurred. You're just seeing her face and her eyes. Heart beating really fast. And anxious. Not not quite sure what's happening. And I don't know if he can do this. Does he have prestigitation? No, probably not. Let's see. I'd be surprised if you don't have it. <laughs> nah, I don't have it. Oh no. It's okay. Okay, I can do just do minor illusion. Okay. Uh he do a minor illusion. Um into like um I, I want to say, like, in a field of flowers that they might have been together when they were at home, maybe when they were young, just like bringing back from memory. And he does a, a picking motion of a flower and have a flower come, like, I don't know, like, um, be in his hand and kind of like sprout from his hand. And he gets on one knee and say you'd have no idea how long I wanted to say this will you be mine forever as you say that a door opens up and an elven man pops out to the side through the door honey uh the band kind of oh a fan i'll be right back as he closes the door behind him Issa. I'm so sorry. No, out of character. Issa. Shit. Please stand up. Issa stands stays on his knee his smile slowly turns away and he says no no you're 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 not gonna tell me what i think you're gonna say You see her bite her lip. It's not... It's not what it looks like. But... That is... my manager. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He just stands up right away and say, <laughs> you manager? My manager, yes. But he, he just called you... Honey? He just called. Yeah. If that man is by some miracle 
promise to me. Which, let me be honest, I don't know how that would look like. He wouldn't just leave and said, oh, a fan, as he closes the door behind him. But yes, he calls me honey. Now Issa's just like grabbed her by the shoulders. Like, He's gay. Then... <laughs> <laughs> he just grabs her by the shoulder Ooh. and shakes her like, like a gentle shake, not like a rough shake. Okay. Just like. So you're telling me. <laughs> that he's not your husband. No. And so? So? What? So? <laughs> what? I don't know what <laughs> what's happening. But you gotta admit, that was kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me you don't feel the same way as I do? I the say... long pause, the long pause <laughs> already told him. The answer he needs to hear. He slowly drops his arm and steps two steps back. Oh my god. That's it, huh? That's. So that's how it is. It's been what? How many years has it been since we last met? I mean, look at you. You are a dazzling, shining example of what ladies and gents would sought after. I just... Fuck dazzling. It's... Fuck all the ladies and gentlemen what they think. There is nothing else. There's only you. She watches you carefully. Her hand reaching out by the side. Waiting to see what reaction you'll have before she holds it. <laughs> Seeing as to you have not reacted yet, she pulls it up your hand in hers. When I left, it wasn't an easy choice to make. I really thought... I loved you enough to see you as family. 
on. But <laughs> my desire to see or have my own blood reunited was stronger at that time because I really believe that there was a chance that if my father knows that mom is dead he would stop whatever he's doing and come home leaving you was not an easy decision I just want you to know that And I'm not this discount the scout this this discounting the feelings you have had and carried with you for me. But with all the years that we've spent apart, do you really think I'm the same person? From the day I left you? Of course not. We both change. But it doesn't matter. I mean, we could get to know each other again. I think it's destiny. It's faith for me to have met you. And then lost you, and then finding you again? This has to mean something. He thinks about it for a moment. Wipes a tear from her eye that's just swelling up there. <laughs> But I, I, I see that you don't feel the same way. He pulls away his hands and just step back. Um, I'm going to need some time. I guess... I hope you're going to be around tomorrow. I'll be here. Hopefully. Hopefully we can... catch up. Or something. He just... turns around, open the door, and closes it and outside the door he's just standing there with his head down and droplets of tears starts to fall Bellis is still in the tavern you see your companion return to the tavern grounds. The, the corner. From your corner, you see him standing at the door. What do you do? Um, I will ask the, the waitress to get a room. And then I'll go to Lisa. Okay. Hey man. Um I didn't I don't know what you just gone through, but you don't look so well. Come come upstairs. Please. 
just find a quiet place for now. As I kind of like put my hand on his shoulder and lead him to the to the room I got. To the where? I'm sorry? To the... Uh, I asked for a, a room from the waitress and I'm bringing uh, these a room. Okay. The waitress okay. would also lead the two of you to the room. She has selected a room that has two separate beds inside with a bedside table separating the two beds and there is a window and a balcony outside of this room. Isa grabs the shoulder of the waitress. The strongest shit you got. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, <laughs> man, I'm so <laughs> uh, Oh no, the waitress. But that's kind of whispers into her. Not, not, not that one. N uh, not the one that you just. Uh, not the one you had in mind. <laughs> he kind of like gestures and like whispers. He's so like, that he's, he's the he's one he's shit he's, you he's got. Like, He's like because like, like Isa haven't behind uh, Isa. Like, like, Isa haven't <laughs> Isa haven't seen like what Midas yeah, have got, so he wouldn't yet, know. Yeah, so <laughs> he's just There's, still I, trying to get the waitress to tone it down. I think I think I think I think I just imagine like Valus just standing behind Isa and staring at the waitress, like signing to her, like no. There's this just <laughs> no. huge hulking uh man who's like. <laughs> Just violently gesturing to her, like, don't give it to him. <laughs> she sees what's happening. Gives you a very slight nod as she... Okay, um... Uh, to be delivered to your room, I suppose, yes? Yes. Okay. Let's just hope that she does not misunderstand anything that's happening right now. The whole... Bottle. <laughs> <laughs> we will see. Uh, let me see if I can give you that. But us will ask for two glasses. Two glasses. Okay. Yeah. Boys nice. night. <laughs> and hands are a goal. I assume that will be enough. As long as they're five feet apart, that's yep. that's fine. That would that would be great. <laughs> uh, two bottles and. She kind of like turns around to like an angle where he couldn't see. She mouths to you, Velas. Do you need like food or anything like to? He doesn't look good. Sweets, chocolate cake. Velas okay. nods. Okay, I got you. You see her turn around, close the door lightly behind her, makes her way down. She would return eventually back up. This time she brought a uh, backup with her as she <laughs> opens the door. Uh, excuse me. Um, she then takes the the bedside table from in between of your your uh, bed frames and just moves it to the center. Removes the the things that were adorning it on top of it, like a vase and this uh, small little napkin there, and puts out this uh, bigger uh, tablecloth and puts sets up like uh, a cheese a cheese plate with some meat on it and probably some bread and some sweets, some maybe pieces of cake that are like in this small cube shape that you can just bite size it while you enjoy your drink and here you see this bottle of red liquid it is not opened yet but for velas you recognize this as the spicy oh you don't know it's spicy but you recognize it as the liquid that midas drank the the the, the, the one of red, the, the red yeah. layer the red layer yeah the oh, red so layer. it isn't the, the entire thing okay good it's just the bottle of that drink and not the entire 
concoction that was created specifically for Midas. So yeah, she, they put that down. They give you some uh, frosted glasses so that the drink would be cold when you drink it. And another person comes from the back, delivers two empty buckets and one bucket of ice. Okay, uh, we're gonna go, but if any of you make a mess here, that's gonna cost you. And she looks at you guys with like the stern look on her face. And let me see if she is intimidating enough. Uh, the both of you just roll a intimidation check. Um, let's just see how much that you guys fear her. Um, yeah, I got a net one. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> but it's not very intimidating, despite the size. She turns to you guys. This time you see her demeanor kind of change for isa she doesn't scare you as much but you do get the a feeling that she means shit and you don't want to fuck with her but i don't give a damn because yeah. i'm fucking sad as shit and for velas you are shitting balls shitting bricks when she said <laughs> those exact words thank you for your patronage if you need anything, well, else, it's just like oh, okay. If you need um, anything, that that will be good. If you need anything else, we'll be downstairs. Oh my gosh, she's a queen. She turns around and snaps her fingers in the air, and the other two persons who accompanied her up follow her out of the room, closing it behind them. I Isa immediately. Even before they completely left the room, takes the bottle, put it in, and then have a glass for uh, Varus, pour it in his portion, put some ice in his, and okay, good. At least he's using the glass. <laughs> <laughs> and then, is it a balcony? There is a balcony. Yes. He takes the bottle. I don't know if we can see it. Aww, Walk bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Walks to the balcony. Velas is then, falling and, closely behind. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Make a constitution um, saving throw. Oh no! And, and then he, he, he... And then he mutters... Just friends, she said. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> Just be friends. <laughs> oh no. Lois brings a chair to the balcony and sits down on the bed that's closer to it. Isa uh, sipping on his drink. As you drank that with Stress induced drinking. You don't get the you don't get the same effect as Midas or or when you drink so much that at the initial shot that everything just comes collapses on you all at once. But instead you just have this like more mellow uh days. Like your head begins to feel light, your body still feeling anchored to the ground you can think uh rationally still i would say that with that 18 you definitely are able to hold your own he grabs varus and then just starts sobbing into his shoulder just <laughs> gives gentle pats on the back why after all I've been through, just to find her. This, this. That's, that's the response I get. 
and he gets up, walks to the door, and shouts downstairs, MORE STRONGEST SHIT! And slams the door closed. And then this pinches the bridge of his nose. Oh and... no! <laughs> it's a muscle bro thing, man. Yes. <laughs> It's a muscle bro thing. You muscly well, nose. You wait a while, and there's a knock on the door. Uh, we ran out of the bottle, so we gave you the other one. Uh, it's still gonna cost you a gold. This thing ain't cheap. Isa takes a platinum, and give it to her, and says, "Just keep it coming." Does, does she have a bottle in her hand? She does. It is this blue liquid. She takes it from her, gave her the empty bottle, and tell her, fill it up! And then he just opened the blue bottle and chugs it. Well, not chugs it, but like, you know, uh, 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 and then... You do see, uh, for <sighs> Bella's, you do see her look at you for a brief moment to see if you have any reaction to this. Uh, at this point, Dallas decides it is better that he, he, he uh, Isa gets drunk and unconscious. It like He might feel better that way. So he doesn't stop her. He, he doesn't stop. For that brief, like, split second, she then... Okay. We'll be right back. Just holler at us if you want more. She then turns to walk away and uh Our con check. <laughs> well, you are chugging it down, so yes, con check. Let's go. Constant yeah, con still check. on his first class. <laughs> Fourteen. Come on, get drunk. It is getting lower. <laughs> so with you drinking to quench or rather to remove the pain of the heart is there a bathtub uh i would say there is a re a, a restroom but not really a bathtub per se oh. just a regular shower room you're gonna drown yourself in alcohol <laughs> he's gonna pour it's it all inside of the bathtub like <laughs> There's a shower? Okay, like, is it like a, like a, like a modern shower? I'm guessing, like, not a modern shower, right? Because that sure calls water pressure. And... I would say that this is one of the more, uh, upscale in and taverns around Norlock. So they have this rainwater, uh, shower head. Perfect. Above. He okay. turns he turns on the shower, sits underneath it, and he summons rain clouds <laughs> as he sits there and chugs whatever's in his own. He's so dramatic! <laughs> oh my god! I cannot <laughs> with this boy! Drama. <laughs> this is the drama. Oh my, oh my god, he's like doing a pepper from um <laughs> Encanto. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just gonna sit there chugging away until he's completely passed out. Okay. With that, uh, you do have the drinks coming, I would say. With your rolls being that high, I would say that you weren't uh, able to get like a terribly drunk but you were able to hold your own to a point that uh you didn't get alcohol poisoning for sure so i won't do anything mean but you eventually had enough alcohol in your system to get you to eventually pass out if 
you want to pass out in the restroom, which is your choice, you can. Yes, let's go. Yes. <laughs> because you are, you still can think rationally with the high rolls. So if that is what you want, then it shall be. So for uh, Velis, you eventually, uh, is there anything you want to do in, in, in between? No, I'll just wait for him to pass out and like dry him up, put him in bed, tuck him in. Okay. And yeah. What what time is it right now? Is it like late night or still it afternoon? It is very late at night at this point. You guys, when you okay. left the, when you left Scars, it was uh, I would say it would it would be like closer to uh after. Nighttime. All right. Then Velas decides to sleep. Okay. So everyone, please have your character sheets uh, refreshed. And eventually, the next day comes. Midas. You wake up with a massive headache. With a massive headache, but you notice that someone has prepared a jug of water and a cup for you by the bedside. My dust will look around the room. You see Ravis uh, sitting in one of the the two couches on inside of the room he is in his transit state ah uh, uh hmm. Midas will proceed to drink half of the jug and leave the other half for ravers okay how about the other two Mm, I think Valus will be having breakfast in his room and also yeah. leaving hard for Isa. Isa, 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 just like, Isa just like wakes up like half depressed and half having a headache. Yeah, he's, he's just gonna curl up in bed. Oh. Okay. With that, you... Everyone goes on to their to do their business. Midas, you make your way out, uh, approaching the tavern area. I assume for uh, mm -hmm. breakfast. Yes. Make a perception check. Ay ay ay. <laughs> It's a net one. Goodbye. Men's like still <laughs> half <that> awake. <laughs> oh, <laughs> having a headache. <laughs> you just see Midas like slowly wobbling, teetering over to the tavern area. Kind of falls off the stairs. Okay. We, you fell off the stairs but managed to pick yourself back up. The staff are looking at you. You notice that they're not the same staff from last night. Probably they have changed their ships. One approaches you, a male halfling. Uh, I take it that you are the one who drank the wildest drink ever made. Surprisingly, I survived. <laughs> Different from Dragon Breath. <laughs> oh, Dragon's Breath has nothing on this one. But, um... I survived. I reckon you might want some tea. Uh, yes, please. What do you have for breakfast? Uh, given that you did consume the wildest drink in town, 
we I'll have the chef uh, create something for you uh, maybe some soup and uh, bread would that be okay for starters uh, yes please and then, we can and, then and then you just and then you just see him like wobbling to like keep his balance oh right over this way as he leads you to one of the t tables closer to the kitchen why does like slowly teeters after him he pulls um, the chair out for you and waits for you to sit so he can push it back in in his attempt to sit he loses his balance and out of reflex he grabs the person along with him Duh! you see he's like <laughs> just move at that and uh he's like um sorry are you sorry. are you alright sir yeah oh the pack the punch <laughs> he lets go of the person and then he just pinches the bridge of his nose well, I, I was saying uh, that after the uh, starters, uh, the main course would be ham and some legumes, baked legumes and eggs, given your size. I, I assume you might want extra servings? Just a second serving would do. I will take note of that. As he gives you a light bow, turns away, walks towards uh, the kitchen. As you sit there, minding your self, you wait. One of the hosts come by to your table, giving you this uh, ra larger tea cup, a uh, teapot, and a cute little cup that comes with it they tell you do not drink this quickly slowly of course as he nods and goes on to uh, take care of the other uh, other patrons of that morning in the meantime you do notice that someone enters the tavern floor but the light shining behind him kind of make makes his, his look into a silhouette you're not sure who this person is as this person just walks forward into the room stands at the center for a moment looks at you and takes a seat from at the table across Midas looks at him you look at him his expression looks unfazed and you notice that he is looking back at you. Do I recognize him? Yes. This man is Bronco Lai. Anyways, uh, Midas will. Um not his head in greetings because he's still trying to cope with the headache that he's having. He nods to Broncoli and he asks, can I help you? He says while he's pinching the bridge of his nose, massaging his temple. You seem to be... Having a hangover. I had a drink last night. The both of you are just having this conversation like just a table apart. Do you want Do you me want to me go to... closer? 
I don't see why not. There's space on the table. Make yourself comfortable. He stands up. Rather gracefully for... It's not what you remember it to be. As he makes his way towards you. Takes a seat. So what brings you here? To be honest, I am looking for a certain someone. Oh. He looks at you for a moment. Little Midas. Ember Song. Little Ember Song. <laughs> oh, my notes. I'm gonna take a shot every time I say that. My god. Let me just scroll up the Google Doc. Why are you looking for them? I need a certain something from him. You don't look too pleased at seeing me. No, oh, it's just the alcohol. Mm, sorry. My dad shakes his head, trying to. Make himself look more presentable <laughs> from coping with the headache. What do you need from him? Make a perception check. I got an 18. You get a... As you straighten yourself up from your seat, having a sip of your tea, you get a closer look at uh, Bronco, who doesn't look as tired as he was the last time you saw him. He looks very refreshed, like as if he has had a long rest. I don't take note of that. And you get a hint of lavender. <laughs> As Midas is sober now. He Midas like straightens back up into his seat. Much more aware now, I guess. A little bit more awake now. More so, but up. Nods his head. What happened? You seem to be more attentive now. As he gives you a smile. Have you... Giving off a really nice scent. Not to cause any misunderstandings. Did you take a good bath? Had a good rest? Somewhere? Well... Oh. Internet, right? 
<laughs> no, the timing. Well, Lenzo, huh? Lenzo, your timing. <laughs> it took it took you a while to notice me, huh? Really needed to straighten you, yourself up before being, you know, drank a little bit too much, Midas. And then as the uh, as the disguise falls up, you can see like a swirl of purple petals, and then the waft of lavender came into the air. Midas stares at Veston for a moment. Could it be you're the one that? Cause the trouble. Hmm. Well, at least now you are quiet right here, are you? And then, like, Vestin, like, squints at you just a tiny little bit. So, like, to see, like, your expression if you're really there. Midas is staring at you. Hmm. Unwavering. Your scent never changes, Vestin. Of course. It is quite, I would say, on brand. <sighs> oh well, where is everyone else? Upstairs. Ah, uh, dilly dallying, I'm assuming. Where is that, where is that uh, child with you? Uh, what is his name? Ravis? He's also upstairs. Unless you're talking about Keisha's. <laughs> oh, yes, Keisha's. Mm. Oh well. But either way, good to see you again, Midas. It has been a while. And then you see Vesson does a little bit of bow. And was like, hmm. And then like uh I pointed at one of the uh the, the what you wanna call it? Uh, one of the bartenders is like, Hi, excuse me, can I have something vegetarian, please? Coming right up, sir. Thank you so much. And then you can see this bright smile that he has. Just very radiant and very calming. <laughs> You've been mm. away for a long time. Why now are you showing your face? Because, unfortunately, I cannot rely on you guys to keep taking your time. I ha I needed business to attend it to, and at this point, I do need some assistance, if you say. <laughs> assistance with what? Mm. So clearly you have known the person that I have disguised myself with. What's, uh, what's his name? Broncoli. Yes, yes. Well, he died. And I'm here to investigate. Oh, shit. Should we tell him? Uh -huh. <laughs> Why does it all by himself? Hit empty. Oh. <laughs> and by the way, Isa needs therapy out of character. <laughs> Man's got some emotional damage. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, Celine was just sitting there with her little kitty eyes, just watching the whole Spanish drama and full man. Like, mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and one. out of character, hi everyone. Uh, oh my god, I knew it. It's been a while. It has been a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, all right, all right. Let's get back. Sorry, where did we leave off again? <laughs> uh, he <laughs> help with someone, something. <sighs> yeah, he needs yeah. some. No, oh, should we tell him? Like, oh. our, our character, should we tell him about the information that we received from Jeremy? Why do I say his name like that, Jeremy? <laughs> but yeah, should we should we should we tell him? Yeah, if you want to. The first yeah. thing to ask, like out of character, an uh, uh, advice. The first thing you should ask is when did Broncoli die? Mm. Mm. 
Because mm. that's like the first clue. Yes. Unfortunately, I have been keeping tabs with... What's his name? Broccoli or some sorts. Um, I have been keeping tabs on him for quite a while. And, and, and I got extra intelligence coming from someone that you may or may not know. I cannot divulge who it is because of reasons, as you may know. He, I left town for a while, came back, I came back a bit yesterday, discovered that he's lying, le- lying on the ground, dead. And, and it is quite curious that when I left is when they chose to attack. Was it a coincidence or were they waiting this whole time? Maybe, maybe not. <sighs> From our recent mission, we received news that um, Bronco was actually a traitor. Mm. Oh no, my avatar broke! Yep. <laughs> we just see this oh, no. uh, Final Fantasy character just Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yes, yes, I have also noticed that too. While I was keeping tabs on him, he does seem to have that air of guilt. Quite... And I would say, from experience, people who are like that are quite easily manipulated or have something to hide. I think it's best if we were to discuss this as a whole party. I don't want to leave them out of any details. And then I see Midas, like, sweating to remember every detail. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yes, I, I, I might suggest that would be a great idea. What would Midas do? Midas would wave over a waitress to go get them. Your companions, uh, yes, uh, we will give them a knock. Yes, please. Thank you. As that waitress goes over to the second floor to call your companions, uh, trays of food arrive. For Vestin, you have this uh, interesting looking... uh, I wouldn't really call it a sandwich, but it has uh, this potato with some vegetable pat patty along which is like uh, brushed over with this brown sauce and some lettuce and some tomatoes and onions and pickled uh chilies it looks like a kind of looks like a burger but a more it's a veggie burger it's a it looks better than a veggie burger kind of looks like a croissant burger <laughs> <laughs> croissant burger, croissant burger. Oh, is, it, is it those um i forgot what's it called um uh you know croquette yeah basically it's mm-hmm. that <laughs> when, when i when i saw it it was quite extravagant and then as the server came in i was like thank you so much that is quite a beautiful sight in this morning the waiter takes a moment blushes a little bit and we hope you enjoy your meal <clears throat> thank you <laughs> as he and- leaves for Midas you have this uh, whole array of meat and soup just all laid out on the table it is this larger uh, rec- rectangular uh, not really rectangular yes rectangular uh, plate with extra serving of each. You have like double the egg. So it's four eggs, uh, some baked legumes on the side, uh, sausages, four, four pieces of them. And you see a meatloaf on the side. You have some toasted bread 
on top of the plate and some uh roasted tomatoes that have been sliced up for you and placed neatly at the side of the uh plate and then followed by you have a garlic bread and what appears to be uh corn soup by the side the in the meantime uh the host uh, one of the hosts goes up to the second floor and knocks on the door of Isa and uh Vela's uh your companions is looking for you downstairs uh they're having breakfast it seems a little oh. urgent all right um be right there uh well it looks towards isa what does he do he's being not a moving. sad ball under the blanket he's not moving oh in the meantime you hear like glass bottles being collected at the door <laughs> Carrying, being carried. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Internet. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so Isa is down. Uh, nope. I, I. Nope. nope. Uh, he, he's, uh, he's, he's gonna maul in his room. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so Bella's is just like looking at Isa. Is like kind of worried that he might do something rash or hurt himself. Mm -hmm. But decides that. Um, it's just, it's going to be fine to just leave him for a little while and head down. Will Ravis be coming along as well? Ravis would come along, but he'll be like in the background. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cause like, Dallas doesn't know Vesta, so mm -hmm. he's going to need some introduction and stuff. Mm -hmm. So this host just leads you down the hallway and down the staircase and just not too far from you guys uh right next to where the uh kitchen is you see Midas sitting along with a familiar face uh Dustin takes a seat uh close to Midas since the, the, the seat next to Midas will be occupied by Ravis so he'll sit next to Ravis mm -hmm. oh uh, before before uh before Velas uh came to his seat like as he's walking by like uh uh Vestan uh impromptly uh put up uh stood up from his chair um uh, made sure his clothing are in well checked velas it has fi velas grizz it is finally a pleasure to finally introduce myself to you and then uh vestan does his very extravagant bow pleasure to meet you greetings and who might you be i am vestan you could say I'm an old acquaintance among the this party of ours. Uh, that Bellus looks towards Midas to confirm. Midas nods. Uh, right. Um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I have all. I was always admired how the the lot of you always. Try to get out of situations. Keeping an eye out on all of you is actually quite a struggle. However, you know what? We are here now. And yes, we have many things to discuss. And then I proceeded to sit down. Well, this was it down as well. And he'll order a sandwich since he's not that hungry because he was finishing up whatever is. That's left from yesterday night, just now. Plate. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Since I don't think Isa will be eating a lot of that. <laughs> okay. Uh, you do get uh one of the uh staff to take your order, and after a good bit, uh one of the staff delivers this uh sandwich tower around four layers of them, put together, the 
edge of the the bread, the burnt part, all removed, and you see uh, one side of the plate being adorned by uh, a salad with some pieces of chicken and a sauce that looks kind of like a mustard, sweet mustard sauce. That was then delivered to you, placed right in front of you, Velis. Velis will start this meal. While listening to whatever Vestan and Midas has to say. Now, at this point, um, Vestan would just be doing small talk with Midas, trying to catch up basically until everyone is here. So, oh. um, I don't think Isa will be coming down. Not for a while. What happened to him? Mm, I'm not quite sure of the details, but it seems they have some uh, relationship issues. Uh. I suspect that it might... Uh, you remember the woman he went... The lady. He the went out with? Yeah, I suspect that uh, something happened between them. <clears throat> we'll talk to him later if he feels like it then. Oh. Let us continue with our conversation. Fuck, why did we leave off? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, um, out of character, did Midas tell Vestan that Keisha is not here? <laughs> not yet. <laughs> okay. Shit. Why does this really hit empty just like me? <laughs> but yeah, um My desk quickly looks around to make sure that everyone's here, uh, apart from Isa and Kishas. Then uh, he looks to Vesson and just like nods for him to continue the conversation where they left off. Alright, so I'm guessing it's just gonna be the four of us and Ravus. Good to see you again. Good to and then, you. dude. Mm. And, was like, and then, uh, what you got? And then he proceeds to uh, just take small bites of his food while while taking his time, like explaining. So basically. Again, like I've said before, I've been keeping tabs on where have you guys been going to. What is happening between you guys? And and then for, for like a uh, in uh, I didn't move my mouth, but for uh, only Velas heard this and keeping tabs on people that might want a certain ring. And then, but you know, I am quiet here. To ask for your help, I am searching for the same person as you guys. I'm. Mm. Uh, sorry, out of character. We are searching for the same person, right? For them, or... they would be meeting him. For mm. you, you are searching for him. Mm. Okay, so I don't know yet that yet. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm searching for someone named Lit. Little Ember Song. Uh, uh, there's something that I require of that person. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course, nothing, anything bad. Looking at Ravis and uh, Ravis and Midas, because knowing them, they're eyeing me, giving me the side eye. Of course, of course, nothing bad. Just something that I want to keep tabs on as well. If you're looking for him, um, if I remember correctly, later in the day we will be going over to speak with him about some things. If you like, you can come along with us. Great! Oh Midas, I knew you would know how to steer this party through, through storm and sea. 
Mm. But let us not go back to that memory lane. But yes, that would be quite amazing if you can introduce me. <laughs> um, why does not? As you say that, someone comes from behind and says, What kind of introduction are you looking for? Dun, dun, dun. As this person standing behind uh, Vestin, and Vestin, you would know. Hmm. You would know that someone was approaching. Mm -hmm. This person in cloaked, removing it, his curly locks, dark brown locks, just come to the side flawlessly. Uh, like a out of character weakness. Like hair care commercials mm -hmm. and their bouncy hair. Mm -hmm. Lito Sina Embersong. Oh. And this is where we will end today's session. Mm. Because it's late. <laughs> yeah. It's so good to have you back, Lenzo. Yes, it's nice to be back. I was, I mean, I was like, emotional. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what you call? I, 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 I like message me because it's like, oh, what you call? It was like, it was, it is the anniversary, right, for uh, Pack. Mm -hmm. So, so I was like, you know what? I can, I can put some time aside to come in. For for this uh, <laughs> this little episode. meet up, yeah. Yes. Perfect timing. <laughs> yes. No, me me like me and Aka like <laughs> no, no, no. we it planned. Was... <laughs> yeah, we did. I mean, oh my it's, god. A, it's a good it's a good time to be back. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, yes. my brain my brain was just there like wait, Laven lavender sit down. <laughs> wait a second, is it? And then and then Lentil just comes into the call and mutes and I was like. Oh my god! <laughs> I was I was crossing my fingers, hoping that you won't go anywhere below a ten. No. <laughs> With that perception <laughs> check, because I was like, I, but even 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 if he rose below it, Midas would still recognize Vestin from like a mile away because Vestin is the only person that excessively uses Lavender. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's his <laughs> trademark. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love, trademark, I love trademark. The it, it, it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my god, and it's so nice to like hang out with you guys too. Like I've been, I've been watching the whole stream. I'm just like waiting for my cue. I went up to McDonald's <laughs> to buy breakfast. Okay, <laughs> I'm like these bitches are gonna take a while. <laughs> Let me get some fucking pancakes. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I mean, I also kind of. Not, kind of work this the the whole situation out the the starting situation out with um with tactical uh just before the the, the session actually just early on today uh he we were discussing uh, like what are the plans he he would like with uh this NPC and uh, a question that I asked him was uh. On a scale of one to ten, how much emotional damage do you want? <laughs> Bring the pain. Initially, Bring the pain. Initially, he put eight point five, and I was like, "Do you really want to get hurt? <laughs> That's rather high, even for most people." And then he lowered it down to. If, he if, lowered if it, it down bro, by if, one bro, unit. if it was me, I would be like crying already, man. Like, dude. <laughs> Dude, the whiplash is so real. <laughs> I'm like, exactly. Oh my goodness. I'm like, oh gosh. And then when when, when I was hearing like Isis things, I'm like, oh, oh, this is giving me emotional damage. <laughs> oh, I'm like, oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, but like, but like tactical. Good job, man. That was a pretty good scene. Pretty good scene. Oh, thank you. Thank you. 
<laughs> he didn't oh. know what, what they were actually. I just told him like, you know, we, we're just gonna impromptu this shit, you know? Mm -hmm. See how, how the, the different characters just react to it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna end the stream. So say bye-bye. Right. Give bye. your soul. Bye bye, bye. stream. Bye bye stream. Tune into the next part of the anniversary. Oh, Exo one was here. I didn't see the it's stream. It's Wolf Gate. Yeah. And Exo She said dude stole the Discord background. <laughs> 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 all right. Oh my. Give give Q your your souls and all that fancy stuff. No, it's okay. You can. Oh,